Firstly, they're nocturnal, so they would only come out at night. And secondly, they live in very dense areas like that there, so we don't really see them. They're very good hiders. And uh, if you notice, there's one walking there up yeah. in the tree. Oh, in the tree. So they're really light weighted, so you can see on thinner branches, you can walk wow. like Wow, go high. Chicken. chicken. Give them another one. Oh, there is one here. No cheese. This one's smaller. Oh, look at that. So Jane, are you alright now? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 She's coming for a fit. Oh, no, no, she thought it was chicken in. You can get the head out of there. <laughs> There's a piece of wine there. She's really stalking this day chicken now. This is amazing. You can see by her face how old she is. She's 17 years old. They only live up to 13 years in the wild. She's the only one who comes from the wild and who actually knows how to hunt. She's very old, very strong still. Still plenty of cats. She pulled a full grown in Paula about two months ago through a fence. He's just really stalking this chicken out. It's already there. It's not gonna run away. As you can see, she's also smaller than the other. She's very old, so she's starting to lose a bit of body condition. Okay, so your cheetah is your fastest land mammal, running speeds of 110 kilometers an hour can even reach 120 kilometers an hour. That means that they will run the 100 meter sprints in 3.3 seconds, accelerate faster than a Formula One car does from zero to 80 in 2.2 seconds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Now, there's three main reasons why they're that fast. Firstly, there's an open space between 30% of those cheetahs are in the wild and 70% is in captivity. Now, they are still holding your highest population of wild cheetah. Now, a reason why they so invade is you can see the fences are not very high and they can't clear it. Now, what happens if they've got small stomachs, so they feed about every second day. But they only eat a little bit. They eat about 10% of their body weight per week. But it's a big loss to farm if you leave a sh if you um, if a cheetah called a sheep every second day, a sheep or a goat. So what's gonna happen if he's done with his chicken? He's gonna come to my bucket. He's gonna drink some blood out of my bucket. I'm gonna stroke him, depending on how relaxed he is. You can stroke him as well. Hmm. If that happens. Just come up behind me, bend over me and stroke him. If we next him, he's going to feel enclosed and he's going to um, throw some slaps and scratches just to get out. Now with cheetahs, if they attack, they do not bite. They jaws are not strong. So they scratch and it's never higher than your legs. He scratched me a few times and then it's barely ever through the skin. Now if you look at the tip of his tail, you'll see that it's white. That's because it's a no uh, uh, sorry, it's a diurnal cat. All your nocturnal cats, tip of the tail, it would be black, like your lion, leopard, serval, African wildcat, and caracal.
Go ahead, Dale. Get that man. Don't stroke the cat. Mm -hmm. Look at my whole You want to hold Okay, so this is your caracal, also known as your Persian lynx. Now those long um, hairs on the ears is for picking up vibrations, better hearing the cats in tall grasses, the ears would be above the grass, hearing what's going on. And also the ears point outwards, feeling where they're going at night, the hairs on the ears. Now that little guy is about two and a half months old now, it's a little boy. That one is the mother, the other one is not a father, it's just a female, another female. Now in South Africa, these guys are classified as vermin. Doesn't mean they are vermin, but farmers don't need a permit to shoot them because they cause so much damage. And they're also known to attack birds of prey like your eagles. So they're very smart cats, they'll stalk up to the bird then jump at an angle and catch the bird as the bird takes off so you actually catch the bird in the air they're also known to slap smaller birds out of the sky oh. onto the ground and then grab them <laughs> now pound to pound this is your strongest cat with the biggest jaw pressure so i'm just going in here i'm going to fetch the little one yes okay. oh. so this is the little boy Will be a big boy one day. He looks <laughs> huge. There's really a huge caracal. Yeah, you see that white underneath the eyes? That's because it's a nocturnal hunter and light reflects into the eyes at night. Does oh, <laughs> so anybody want to hold a little wet caracal? Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.